Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to upgrade early to Windows 11 version 24H2. Although version 24H2 is expected to be released sometime in September or October, Microsoft is already making available the official preview for the feature update through the release preview program. However, it is important to know that not all the new features will be available when upgrading through the preview builds from the Windows Insider program. Maybe when we get closer to the final release, but not before. Also, since this feature update is not complete, you might come across issues. As a result, it is not recommended to upgrade your main computer. Instead, you should use a spare computer or a virtual machine. However, whatever option you choose, it is also recommended to create a full backup of your computer in case you need to roll back. You can also check the video description to find the link to my review of the new features and changes coming with version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into the upgrade instructions to Windows 11 version 24H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, we need to enroll the computer into the Windows Insider program using the release preview channel. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then go to Windows Update and then click on Windows Insider Program. In here, click the Get Started button. And now we need to link a Microsoft account. Once you're signing in, select the Release Preview option and then click the Continue button. Click Continue again, and then we need to click the Restart Now button. Once you're back into the desktop, we need to open Start again, look for Settings, and open the app. Then go to Windows Update, and here you might see the option to upgrade to version 24H2. Otherwise, if you don't see it, make sure to turn on this feature, and then click the Check for Updates button. If you just enroll the computer, it might take up to 24 hours in order for the computer to see the update. So just keep that in mind. And now. The only thing that we need to do to upgrade the computer to the latest version of Windows 11, just click the Download and Install button. And now the files for the newest version of the operating system is going to download on the computer. And then you just need to restart the device to apply the changes, and that's it. And you won't have to go through the out-of-box experience because this is an upgrade, so all your settings and apps will be migrated automatically to the new installation. Now, once the new version is ready to install, you just need to click the Restart Now button. And because this is a new version, a complete reinstallation will be required. But because this is also an upgrade, your files, apps, and settings will be preserved. The upgrade process will take about 15 to 20 to 30 minutes, but it will also depend on your computer configuration. And that's it. You have successfully upgraded to Windows 11 version 24H2 on your computer. You can quickly confirm that you're running the latest version of Windows 11 by opening a star and looking for settings. And then on system, scroll down and open the about page. And then under Windows specifications, you should be able to see that version now is 24H2. If you're only using these steps to upgrade to version 24H2 early, it is a good idea to open the Windows Update Settings and then open the Windows Insider Program Settings. And from here, it is a good idea to unenroll the computer from the program. And to do that, you just need to click on the Stop Getting Preview Bills and just turn on this option. Now, when you turn on this option, you will continue to get preview builds of Windows 11 
but only for this particular version. Once the new version is available to everyone, the computer will gratefully opt out of the program and you will continue to get updates through the Windows Update settings. And that's it. That is the easiest way to upgrade early to, in this case, Windows 11 version 24H2. Remember to leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.